Remember which book? Nehemiah. That's Nehemiah. Right. Nehemiah. Yes, good job. Good answer. And so let's continue the story. Nehemiah, he has decided to go to Jerusalem. He's the cupbearer. He was the cupbearer for the king, but he asked the king to allow him to go and rebuild the wall. And so the process of rebuilding the wall started. And yet their neighbors, neighboring tribes that do not like Jews and do not want them to rebuild. They do not want a strong enemy living in their neighborhood. You can understand them. But what can they do? And this is what we will read about today. <clears throat> what are these feeble Jews doing? Will they restore their wall? Will they offer sacrifices? These are the enemies of the Jews. Will they finish it in a day? Can they bring the stones back to life from these heaps of rubble? If even a fox climbed on it, it would fall down, this guy says. <laughs> fools. Worse. Worse than fools. Jews. This is, uh, this is Nehemiah. He's praying, hear us, O Oh, um, our God, for we are despised, he says. Turn their insults back on their heads. They have thrown insults in the face of the builders. So he's praying to God to help them. And so the rebuilding of the wall and the gates is continuing. We are nearing the halfway point. They're halfway through rebuilding the whole wall. The people have worked at it with all their heart. Nehemiah, somebody screams, somebody shouts. What happened? We also are Jews. Our clan has lived by the Samaritans ever since the fall of the city. The governors are furious now that the gaps are closing up. The Arabs and the Ammonites plan to join with them in attacking you, he says. So somebody tells Nehemiah that those enemies plan to attack them. Even now they are amassing the soldiers from each group. They say that they will kill you before you even know it and it will put an end to their work. Now they understand that they are in danger of being attacked by the enemies. You have to do something, says this guy. My stonemasons cannot work because there is too much rubble. And now the strength of the laborers is giving out. Nehemiah answers, I will deal with it, he says. But now I have a greater priority, the lives of the workmen themselves. We will start at the water gate. So how will they uh, tackle this problem? What will they do? Nehemiah says, from this point on, from today on, you will stay for some of your workers at the lowest point in the wall and at any exposed places, he says. You will remain grouped by families. He said, you will, right? Yeah. Um, he says, you will remain grouped by families, every group armed with these swords, strapped, spears, and bows at the ready. So he says, you workers, will have your weapons with you at all times. Your swords, your spears, your bows, have them always by your side, says Nehemiah. Don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and he will fight for your brothers. No, you, you fight for your brothers, for your sons and your daughters, your wives and your homes, he says. I want half of the men to do the work and the other half will stay armed and ready with their weapons. That's what's happening. Some people are working and some people are actually standing there getting ready to fight if anybody comes to attack them. Those who carry the materials from now on will do their work with one hand and hold the sword in the other. You work with the one hand and you hold your weapon with the other hand. Each of the builders on the wall must keep his sword on his side as he lays the stones. We will work from the first light of the day until the start until the stars come out at night. The men and their helpers will stay in Jerusalem so they can also be guards at night. Since we are so spread out, each group will have a trumpet to alert us to join them. We will take our swords even when we go for water and we will not change our clothes. That's what they said. So the point is that they worked while having their weapons at the ready at all times. So even if the enemy attacks, they would be ready. The question is, is you are the question for you is, are you ready when the enemy attacks? What is your weapon? What is the sword that you have in your hands? In the Bible, it says that the word of God is the sword. If we know the God's word, then we would always be ready to fight the enemy and to protect ourselves from the attacks of the enemy. That's the point of today's lesson. But let's read first about it. We have a few volunteers. Nishia, will you start, please, the first part for you? Okay. 
Okay, sir. Right. Nehemia, rubble and other problems. As the people start rebuilding the wall around Jerusalem, Nehemiah's enemies became angry and teased the workers, saying, Every f even, even a fox could knock down that wall. However, the people carried on building, and soon the wall was half its full height. Then Nehemiah's enemies plan to attack Jerusalem and cause confusion but Nehemiah pray and God let him found out about their plan so from that time on Nehemiah had half half the people build in the wall while the other half guarded them that's right thank you now the question is how can I keep from being defeated? How can I keep from being defeated? Oh, we have a few hands up. Mm. Abhishek, will you read for us today, please? Okay, sir. All right. How can I keep from being defeated? The enemy will try everything to keep us from doing what God has called us to do. He tried to stop Nehemiah's works in two ways. Firstly, he got some people to plan an attack on the workers. Ungodly, people can hind Hinder. and obstruct our work for God. Secondly, he tried to discourage them. Discouragement takes away our energy and enthusiasm to do good. This is how Nehemiah handled the attack. Nehemiah prayed, verse 9. God answered Nehemiah's prayer and helped him find out about the enemy's plan. Nehemiah expected trouble. He made sure he would not be caught off guard and was ready for action at all times. Nehemiah was practical. He placed armed guards around the workers. Nehemiah knew the importance of unity. Abhishek got disconnected. He told everyone to stand together in times of trouble. Read Romans 15.5. I think Abhishek got disconnected. Yes, these are the important things that Nehemiah, he was a very wise leader, and this is how he handled the attack. And if you ever become a leader, you would also need, you need to know what to do in case of an attack, any kind of an attack. I mean, I, I don't think you would be attacked physically like Nehemiah did or the Jerusalem did or people who were working together. But... It's important for you to pray. Nehemiah prayed. Nehemiah expected trouble and he got ready for that. He was ready. What is your action plan in case of troubles like that? Nehemiah was practical. He did what needs to be done. He placed armed guards around the workers. He didn't just pray, but he also, he was practical. And Nehemiah knew the importance of unity. Unity is when we are united. If we continuously fight with each other, we would not be united anymore. And it's easy for an enemy to pick us one by one and destroy us. But when we are together, we are united, we are going to have each other's backs, we will not be defeated easily. That's why Nehemiah told everyone to stand together in times of trouble, back to back, to protect each other. That's why we need to stay together always. Let's read the verse for today. Ready, go. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is with you. He will never leave you for for nor forsake you. Deuteronomy thirty one six. Deuteronomy Deuteronomy three sixty. 31.6, that's right. Deuteronomy 31.6. Deuteronomy is one of the books that Moses wrote. You know which one it is? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, book number five in the Bible. Yes. Uh, Pentateuch. In Pentateuch, Pentateuch is the first five books written by Moses. Um, the, the fifth book is Deuteronomy. Anyway, uh, we still have some time, about five minutes. What do you want to talk about today? Uh, yeah. about the fun day about the fun day sure so for the fun day let me stop the recording right